kind of trying to fight through some of the adversity? Uh, man, it's tough. Uh, but, you know, I thought we had a great grand. Uh, sorry, I thought we had a great uh, game plan like we did versus Texas. Um, so it's kind of the same thing kind of happened. You know, we started off real strong, got a lead. And then when they started to fight back, we kind of had some mistakes. And uh, I think that's when it started to, you know, go bad for us, even though they got up eight and we came back and cut it down to one. But still, it's just um, the start of the second half for us was a little slow. And then could you kind of kind of talk about the differences between that you've had to have, you know, obviously having Coach Weber and then you had Coach Ross Southwell be the main guy for a game today, Coach Henderson. What's the difference for you as a player when you have to have those different coaches? Well, you know, obviously, you know, Coach Weber, he's a he's a really good coach. And uh, he obviously gave us, you know, his input when, you know, we meet um, when we meet and he calls and talks to us stuff that we have to uh, be prepared on. And he did a great job, you know, helping us from, from his house. But Coach Henderson and Coach Shane, they did a great job just really preparing us for what they do. And, you know, I thought we did a great job going out there and executing our game plan for the most part. Even though we didn't get a vic uh, victory, I thought we took steps in the right direction, uh, you know, executing plays right. And uh, it's just it is a little different as a coach because, you know, Coach Hender. Coach Henderson, he's not really the kind of guy to, you know, get on you. He will, but, you know, he's more like encourage you. Coach Shane, you know, those guys aren't like really Coach Weber. But um, uh, they still have high expectations for us, and they really, you know, do a great job coaching us. And I got a lot, a lot of respect for all of them. And then last question for me. Um, I just – I'm curious, uh, where's the mindset for you guys right now as a team? Confidence shaking at all? Or kind of what's the feeling inside of the locker room? Uh I don't think the confidence is shaking. I just think, you know, guys are a little just upset, but our confidence is still high. You know, we wanted to get that win, obviously being up 40-27 at half. And, uh, but like we, uh, Coach Henderson just said to us, you know, we're taking steps in the right direction and uh, we're right there. You know, they were a team at full strength and we, we only had seven players. So, you know, I think we're going to keep growing and we're going to keep getting better. And uh, we're just going to keep building off this loss because we we learned a lot from the Texas loss. And I thought we applied it into the, this game. And obviously, when we get back and watch film, we're going to grow some more. So. OK, next question to D. Scott Fritchin. I think you're on mute. You're on mute. Yes, sir. Mark, um, great game out there. Uh, I'm curious about this mentality you guys have. I mean, a lot of teams might wilt, uh, might seem intimidated at this prospect, but you guys are attacking. It seems like you guys have kind of a us against the world mentality. Tell me about that. And we definitely do. Um, I think we're having a lot of fun. You know, we're enjoying it. You know, everyone's, you know, obviously, um, you know, like like uh, we said, like a lot of people don't respect us yet. And I feel like we play with that chip on our shoulder. And uh, even though we don't have all the guys, I think we definitely feel like as a team that we have enough to, you know, to go to places and get wins. And uh, I thought we, you know, we did a great job tonight just playing with a chip on our shoulder. And it's just little things to, in the second half that we, when they started to pull away. And uh, I think we're going to fix that and we're going to grow. And obviously we got a game Wednesday versus TCU and hopefully, uh, we can keep, you know, keep going and try ESPN, to get a W there. ESPN on the telecast made mention that uh, kind of struck me that uh, Jermaine didn't find out he was going to be head coach till 942 yesterday morning. It seems like you guys are really having to prepare on the fly. Uh, how difficult has that been? Uh, you know, it is kind of tough, you know, uh, <laughs> hearing so many different voices. But I think, you know, I credit all the guys. Um, just coming in, uh, being focused, you know, whatever we're doing. And, you know, like we just put in, a, uh, we put in a new defense, you know, we're kind of doing a three, two zone and we, we, we've been doing good at that, I think. And we've only practiced, uh, barely practiced that. Like normally coach Weber's a man to man type team. And we, we did a three, two zone and we kind of picked it up on the fly. So, um, I, I really credit the guys, you know, just adjusting the game plan, you know, offensively and defensively. And I think we're doing, you know, a great job. We're just right there. And, uh, it's just, you know, when you're on the road, it's a thin margin for air you have. So, uh, I thought we were doing a great job though, focusing though, as a team. That first thing at the beginning of the season, you guys did the program. You guys learned to rely on each other. 
um, kind of that tribe mentality. T tell me about that and how that comes into play during these adverse moments. I think it uh, definitely comes into play where, uh, you know, obviously a big thing with the uh, program was, you know, when you face adversity or, you know, uh, during the game or just anything that's tough, you know, with your brothers that you fall back to your training. Uh, and that's what I feel like we did. Uh, we fell back to our training, you know, always have your brothers back. And that's what we try to do. And uh, I think the program, you know, really helped us out mentally, even in some situations, like we can get on our brother because, you know, some players don't like that when you get, uh, you get on their brother, like, come on, you got to make that layup or, you know, because we all hold each other accountable. And uh, I think the program really did a good job, you know, helping us with that. And obviously it's paying off right now even though we're not getting the results we wanted I, I feel like in the locker room you can definitely see the growth and the confidence that everyone has thanks so much Mark all right uh, other questions for Mark okay thank you guys thank you Mark yeah.